Hello, so the game cheats a little bit again because in order to get the last fish, you need Hadal. You need a Hadal rod. So in order to get the quest items for the old fortress, you can basically can find them over here around the island with the abyssal rod you get, but you also need a Hadal one to capture the last two, which is the snailfish and the giant antipod. And as you can see, I <laughs> upgraded my ship a little more just because I got very, very angry at the game, you know, by... As it didn't tell me I need to, a Hadal rod 100%. The Sarlacc pit is quiet today. Anyway, with our current rods, we should be able to catch anything that moves in the ocean. So let's see what the quest says and then we'll take it from here. Snailfish? Ah. So yeah, those types are not so hard to find you. I found them in the water in the night, in the abyssal. Uh, the bad news. I can't social limitations. You don't say. I think the basin is similar to life at a cellular level. Plan for the future. Ah. Ah. What was the good news? Oh, okay, you ah. can request more of those. And that's the whole quest, apparently it is the whole quest. I also went a little bit to the north and saw what we have over there because I was just not patient enough. I am also very very upset that the game has those stupid timed quests. Which there's nothing you can do to avoid them, so there are a few timed quests over here with the hooded figures, but if you don't know you have to do them, you will fail them. And what's even worse is that to, in order to do some of those quests, you need to find the location of certain fishes. Which is weird, because even if you find the location of those fishes, you'll not be able to fish them. So it's a triple or a four way bad quest design. I guess we can relax with some normal fishing. Yeah, so I was very upset about that, so... Don't worry about the hooded trigger quests, you'll probably not do them and you'll need to replay the game to do them, which is something I'll never do. By the way, look at that, during the night it... Looks like it's emanating evil from it, like in Resident Evil. <laughs> Probably the creepiest area in the game, just because of all of the glowing stuff in the water. It's pretty annoying that all the time the engine will be broken if you do it like that. I don't know, it, the game is a little too punishing for what it's supposed to be, especially because it has time quest, it doesn't let you know about if you hit your engine, you smashed it. That's how it looks like when you have that thing active. The Sarlacc pit is quiet today. As you can see, this is the Hadal area. And it, they are not even worth that much, to be honest. I guess I should really look for the for the items in the middle of this place.
or the relic. We still have to find the relic somewhere around here. Yeah, it's it's unavoidable. That shark or whatever it wants to be, it's unavoidable. And this is the engagement ring, which is the relic. As you can see, without the repair the equipment, you're basically going to be stuck here for hours. <laughs> Even though it's a great game, I think the developers made a lot of bad mistakes. I don't mind it being grindy, but I do mind the time quest, and I do mind the game telling you to go and get fishes you don't know where to get. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. So I think I'm probably maxed out on money already, or I don't need much anyway. By the time I get the final upgrades, I'll have enough money to afford them. <sighs> so... I shouldn't probably stress about anything else right now. If you're curious, as you can see, this is the level 5 hall. So 2, 3... no, it's, you have 1, 2... Or, I don't know how it's calculated. I just need a lot of resources to get the final upgrades. As you can see, they're not expensive, it's just that I don't have enough patience to go and look for them. Fish market, this is a very expensive fish. So, cabin, encyclopedia. And then we have the pursuits. I'm not sure where to take the dog. Probably we'll see in the future. Search for relics. A ring. And that will give us a new power, which I hope will be a lot more useful than the other ones. Maybe a part that allows us to hit something and not lose an engine or have a big crack in our ship. <sighs> the bond, achievement unlocked. Vanish. That dispels and protects. Hmm. Okay, so now we have to go there. Let me see what... I mean, let's make sure we know what the next option is. This figure in red is already dead. And the bitter end. And this is from the other part. Okay. I guess you can check the mortar. And let's do the do tags. The do tags I just got by wandering around in that area. Not much to say about that. Hall damage. Man, this is this this will go. This thing will drive you crazy at some point. Because a crack like that means you'll not be able to fit fish in there. I like that huge skull over there, which is like it's from Subnautica. I guess we can also go and check on Steel Point to see what's happening there. Probably nothing. Why 
Oh, it's very loud. Excuse me, I'm fishing over here. Man, some of these sharks and fish and whatever they are have forgotten their good manners. Ah. Nothing else going on. So probably the next thing I have to unlock is this big engine over here, which will make it a lot more annoying for me. But I just have to unlock it, because at this point of the game, you are supposed to travel from one huge point to the other next point. Oh wow, this has a super long cooldown. I guess you cannot dispel evil a lot of times, you have to dispel it once and then pretend it doesn't exist. What I saw, there is usually safety. A monster. I mean, we could deliver it, just have to throw away another shark, well... Mm. Okay, so over here... Well, I don't really want to move because I'm being hunted and the cooldown is almost finished. Hunted again. I guess we really need, really, really need that wood. Hmm. Wish you luck. Good luck. <laughs> I can hear monstrosities near me. Let's ignore them. <laughs> oh yes, I almost found it. So as you can see, you no longer need to use the crab pots anymore, which is, which is a bit annoying because you have a lot more levels to upgrade, but you don't need them. By the time you kind of have enough money to use them, you don't need them anymore. Yeah, let's take care of this bridge over here and that will go to our destination. No one wants the dog yet. Yeah. 
But I guess we'll find the owner soon enough. Or a good owner. Or a good boy. And I guess I shouldn't really use that anymore, that skill that makes you go faster, because most of the times you'll just get... you'll end up being chased by a monster. And invited for dinner, and you are the main curse. The main curse. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> uh, looks, just, looks like she still has to work on the house. Famous swordfish. We should have enough room for one more big fish like that. So yeah, as you can see at this point we're no longer getting the small fish. Yeah, whatever. I just love to go like this. It's the only thing that makes me go faster, so I cannot not use it. Well, to be honest, the, these treasures are not worth it at all, but I guess it's not the treasure, it's the friends you make along the way. So let's make more friends and more money along the way. Okay, so where is the little boat? I guess it's not here anymore, I don't see it. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's go all the way over there. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> ah, these are not expensive fish. They're just weird looking. It's also kind of problematic that most of the times you arrive at night on your location. I think this is just black fin tonight, yeah. One of the most delicious fish in existence. Then we have the razor mouth tuna. Yeah, looks like that creature in the stellar basin is corrupting. Not today, my old friend. Not today. Hmm. As you can see, we're. Moving in the world quite a lot. I mean, we're advancing quite fast now because we're getting more and more stuff, and uh, the game kind of lags behind. After we get uh, access to all of the waters and fishing activities, you are basically a little bit OP. I still think this is a scam, but I'll still wear it. This whole area is a pain to navigate.
that is all over again. Not sure why I'm even, why I'm even catching this fish. Okay, let's see, they needed the cannon, but they also needed the dog tags. So the dog tags are pretty easy to find, just move around the place. Hmm. Hmm. Nice upgrade points. I found this part of the mortar. Okay, I guess that's all you do with them. But also like the smaller ones. Probably the smaller ones are better in the long term. But I'm just working to unlock the big one because that's that's the whole goal, right? Unlock the big one. This place is also a little safer during Ah come on, that's so stupid. Like I said. Not every hit should be a 100% damage of your boat and lost lost fish. As I feel like the game is over, it's punishing you for no reason at all. <laughs> like your ship is made out of wax and paper. Oh, it's the golden one. That's almost double the size of this one. I hear too many noises to be safe. Sergeant Fish. Hello, Sergeant. Nice to catch you around here. Let's go and sell the fish, repair our little boat, and then we'll go again into the mangrove. It's not such a dangerous area, we just need to be careful of our surroundings. And watch out for the giant crabs. <sighs> 500, that's a lot of profit. Uh, yeah, you don't even need to do anything else with them. <sighs> but I wish we had some repair kits on, or, uh, on us or something. Find the frame. And you can find it on the wrecks of planes, maybe... Sometimes I have a feeling that something big is moving around me. So this is the wreck of the plane you have to search. That's so how I found some of the stuff. What am I doing? I guess you also need to catch stuff. I was not paying attention, I thought I had it. Okay, I'm worried when I have this good luck. Is 
this the famous catfish? I guess I just want to catch it for the encyclopedia. Doesn't really look like a cat, but hey. At least it's not very mutated like the others. Okay, now it's daytime. Of course it does, and then goalie slithers in your cargo hold. I think I already visited this camp and there's nothing over here. You're supposed to see what's in the campsite, but I investigated it. So. I don't think we can find a lot of dog tags, so let's search for that motor piece. I don't know. It's a very hard game to record because most of the times there's nothing happening and you might fail a quest or two, you have to restart. So yeah, basically scored all of these places. But it's going to be very hard to do it since those... close at regular intervals. The mortar frame was over here, interesting, so I guess this one will only spawn after you collect the first one, maybe. Because I distinctly remember coming over here and there was nothing. I might be mistaken though. <laughs> Sorry, little fishes. Upgrading my ship is a lot more important no matter where I am. Well, I guess it will be faster to deliver it. Believe me, half of the time I don't even know where I'm going in this place. But for sure we have to go to the rickety pontoon so we use our resources and don't lose them. Something sounds and smells very dangerous around here. I don't think we are finding the right fishes. Oh, we made it, we made it to safety. Finally, we're getting some good luck. <laughs> oh. That fish was basically worth nothing. And now comes the very fun part. So we only need two pieces of wood and we can do it. And then the engine space. And then we can also upgrade one point. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up.
Really curious. Mm. How big is that engine now? Oh, it will fill up the entire slot. 52. Ah, it's basically the same speed I will go right now. I guess I can buy another one of these outboard engines. And you can install it even though it looks weird like that. I guess I could have done that in the beginning, a while ago. And my current speed is 78.8, it's 79, let's just say 79. Which doesn't mean much to be honest, because now we're more accident prone. Supposed to be one of, one of those things that drains your mind or tries to control your mind. I forgot which one it was. Yeah, I like that it's a crash plane and a little base with a campfire. <laughs> what? Hmm. Man, this game is killing me sometimes. You have to do so many nonsense like this and it doesn't even tell you what type of fish is. But this is my main problem with the game. It shows you an icon, right? You normally would have to use your encyclopedia to see where it is. But you cannot see the encyclopedia items because... <sighs> Unless you already caught the fish. <laughs> okay, so we need the red fish and whatever that is. Probably one of those normal fishes. That looks like it's uh. in the night. Okay, I guess we're ready for the next challenge, more or less. See you next time. Bye.